I'm Tomoka. I'm a 22-year-old college student. I have a twin sister named Honoka. We were twins, so we looked alike, but we had completely different personalities. I was the quiet type. I kept to myself. Honoka was the social type. She was always with her friends. She was pretty selfish, but she covered it up with her social skills. She was always more popular than me. Honestly, that didn't really bother me. But the thing is, it was the same with our parents. They loved her, but they barely did anything for me. And Hanoka knew this. Just the other day. Hey, Tomoka, is the bracelet on your desk yours? Why are you in my room? Uh, yeah. It's cute. Who gave this to you? A friend. She gave it to me for my birthday. You've got friends? Uh, yeah. Cool. It's so pretty. Too pretty for you if you ask me. Whatever. Hey, I'm going to a party. Can I borrow it? No way. Why not? Because when I lend you stuff, you never give it back. It was a gift for me, so no. But it's cute. Too cute for you. We're twins. We look exactly the same. But your clothes are so outdated. It's so lame. Where do you get your clothes from anyways? Let me guess. Walmart? Leave me alone. Not everyone is into fashion, you know. Whatever. Just let me use it, okay? It's not like you'll ever wear it. It's mine. Just leave me alone. But it's such a waste. This thing is so pretty. I'm doing you a favor. Stop. She took the bracelet anyways. I haven't seen it since. Just like always. At first, I told her to give it back. But when I did, she just went crying to our parents and I ended up getting in trouble. It was always like this. It sucked, but it was just the way things were around here. So I couldn't really count on my parents for anything. I knew I had to work hard and get a good job so I could leave home. And my hard work paid off. I got a really good job at a big firm and then, my sister texted me. You got a job, huh? I heard it's a pretty big firm. Yeah, so, how did you do it? I sent in my application and did some interviews. Huh, that's it? Uh, yeah. Don't lie to me. You seduced someone from the company, didn't you? What? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Nobody would ever fall for you. But it's not fair. I still don't have a job. Not fair. I've been preparing for this since freshman year. Good for you. You're so awesome. Yay. Oh, I know. Can you give me the job instead? Huh? We look alike. They'll never know. Uh, no. Fine. But hey, can you apply to some companies on my behalf? They'll never know. Uh, no way. Why would I do that for you? Come on, job hunting is so boring and lame. I know, that's why I'm never doing it again. Figure it out. Can you believe her? But I thought she was only joking. But a few days later, my parents called me and told me to help her out. Were they serious? There was just no talking to them. I refused and we all got in a big fight. I left home after graduating from college two years later. Work was going well. I got sent abroad. I live in the States now. I met someone there and got married. Then I got a text from mom for the first time in two years. You're getting married? Who told you? Your old friend Mai. I ran into her the other day. Oh. So, you're marrying someone from the US? Yeah. Amazing. Can't believe you're getting married before Hanukkah. She's still single? I thought she was getting married right after college. Yeah, but things didn't really work out. I see. So, um, do you know anyone? Huh? Guys, friends, your fiance's family, your colleagues. Any of them single? Uh, I guess. Great, how about your sister? What? I'm busy. What? She's your little sister. I've done enough for her and she's my twin sister. You're cold. But I'm heading back to Japan for work. I'm going back with my husband. We're throwing our wedding there too. So there'll be lots of single guys there? 
I guess. But hey, if you want to come, you better behave. I didn't want to invite him to the wedding, but all my colleagues were going to be there, so I had no choice. On our wedding day, Hanoka tried to find a man, but failed miserably. Her standards were too high. Nobody was good enough for her, apparently. My husband and I bought a house here and settled in. Life was good. But then, one night when I was working late, I got a text from my husband. He had the day off, so he was home that day. I couldn't believe what he told me. I texted Hanoka right away. I've had it up to here with her. Are you insane? Relax, it was just a joke. You went too far. You tried to hit on my husband pretending to be me. I thought he'd never find out. I wore a suit and everything. I thought we all looked the same to them, so... You're an idiot. Why did you do this? I was kidding. He told me you jumped on him when he opened the door, and you kissed him, and you dragged him to the bedroom. You went too far. He noticed right after I kissed him. I guess you guys don't really kiss. I should have known. He pushed me away. But if he didn't notice, what then? What were you planning to do, huh? You knew I was coming home, right? It's not fair. Huh? You didn't even try. He's so handsome and rich, I worked my butt off but couldn't find anyone. It's just not fair. Ugh, seriously? I worked hard to get this job, and that's how I met him. Don't tell me I didn't work for this. Shut up. Stop talking down to me. Fine, stop texting me then. Fine. She was dead to me after that. It kind of felt nice. Years later, I was 28 now. We now had a child together. Everything was going really well. After my fight with Hanukkah, I cut all ties with my family. I never thought I'd have to deal with them again, but I was wrong. One day, I got a text from my mom. Please, please help. What now? Please leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you guys. Please, please listen. What? Hanukkah, she wants to go to America. Why? She's really upset that you married a handsome blonde guy. What? She was looking for foreigners in Japan at first, but... Uh, okay, so what? She found some, but they weren't rich enough for her, and... What? Her standards are way too high. No wonder she's still single. So she decided to go abroad. She says it'll be faster and easier. Uh, okay. But if she's going to go abroad and stay there, it's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah? But we're broke. We spent so much money on her clothes. And those matchmaking parties cost a lot of money too. Wait, you were paying for all of that? We had no choice. She needed our help. Wait, are you asking me to give you guys money to help Hanukkah? Yes, please. I know you've got the money. Hell no. Never contact me again. I knew they were stupid, but wow. She ended up like this because they spoiled her. But I guess they didn't realize that. After that, I blocked all their numbers. They were family, so I kept their numbers even after I left them. But not anymore. I was done with them. Done. Later, I heard from a relative that she gave up on her plans to go abroad to find a man. So she kept trying here. But soon my parents ran out of money and went bankrupt. They had to sell off the house. Nobody knows where they are now. Oh well.